Well, good evening, ladies, lasses and lasses, and welcome to the click. Did you know that women don't have any body hair at all? What? Today we're gonna explore more of these biological facts together. <laughs> Disclaimer, this is the joke. Like, God, don't strike me down for, I don't know, hair misinformation <laughs> or whatever. Is that a guideline? I don't think so. I do hope you enjoy this wonderful piece of content, especially you. Anastasia, oh my. Anastasia, what are you doing here on a click video, Anastasia? Hmm? Hmm, anyway. Uh, uh, an anyway. I, 19F, was in the hot tub with friends. A guy friend made a very obvious conscious effort to look at my underarms. He said that's absolutely disgusting, and he's never seen a girl with unshaven underarms, and he's going to have nightmares. <laughs> I told him his pits are unshaven, and he doesn't even bother to hide them either. He said it's fine, since guys are naturally supposed to grow hair, and girls aren't. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> are men also supposed to have, like, incredibly weak mental fortitude that you have <laughs> nightmares of body hair? What? Sorry. <laughs> I don't like girls with small private parts. Too much like a guy's butt. Only loose lips sink my ship. What? <laughs> this makes me so uncomfortable, man. Maternity dress with printed polka dots. Yeah, you see, it's just a regular photo, but with a bit of Photoshop magic that no one will ever notice, apart from the fact that the little, little bubbles there are like 10 times the size of the other ones. Ah, thank you, Stacy, for photoshopping our product. Looks really bad. Cloud. Heck yeah, that's what's up. Back when I skated, it was like a unicorn to see a girl skateboarding. But I'm really glad to see that girls are picking it up because I was always like, why don't girls skate? Is it their chest that freaks up the aerodynamics or something? <laughs> yes, when girls skate, the air flows too fast, so the bahonka donks kind of flash up like big sails and they flip around in the air. <laughs> Source. Trust me, bro. Who's ever flying around leads with this right now? You win everything, thank you. It's not that hard to find a clip. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Oh my god. What a beautiful flag. Mm, yes, indeed. Oh, oh, what is this? I think I found love with it. Deep inside your heart and soul. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, hello. Come. <sighs> Closer. Not that, that cl Ooh, there we go, that's close enough. Do you want to listen to the Uwo song in public? Oh, 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 what is this? And sing along because everyone should appreciate your nice voice. Well, get yourself a pair of Raycon Everyday Earbuds today. Raycon Everyday Earbuds look, feel, and sound more amazing than ever. Oh, yes. Mwah. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they never fall out. You'll never be free from the comfort. Oh, God. They offer eight hours of playtime and 32-hour battery life in their neat little package that they come in. I would like to see you try to stay awake long enough to spend all that battery. <laughs> it is no wonder Raycon Everyday Earbuds has over 48,000 five-star reviews. What the frick? And then you might say, but, but click, aren't they just perfectly priced? Where they are half the price of other premium brands, but with really nice sound quality. <laughs> oh dear miscellaneous click viewer, it gets even better. If you go to the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash the click, you get 15% off off your own Raycons. My god, isn't that beautiful? What are you waiting for? Go to buyraycon.com slash the click for your 15% off to support this channel. You beautiful bean. Thank you so much, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get on with the memes r slash ask men. What are some of the advantages of the opposite sex that you envy? Here is mine. Women's mental health are taken more seriously. No blood every month. Do people not understand that the time of the month isn't mandatory but a choice? <laughs> Just put no varring in there, replace once a month, done, no pa What? What is it? No varring? What is that? I've never heard that word. Is this magic? I think this is magic. Or take the pill without break, done. Put an implant in your arm, done. Or put a patch on your arm, make sure it doesn't come out when you sleep, so shower, done. Come on, it's 2021. It's the future. No, like the current year is always the press. Anyway. Time of the month or a thing of the distant past. This isn't new technology. Well, many of those things can also come with very heavy side effects. I know, for example, friends of mine who happen to be of the women gender, um, they have used these things and they cause, like, horrible hormonal imbalance and they feel like garbage. So no, it's not really always an option. Uh, so the cease. Lightly used for jankle. What? Uh, 
<coughs> Vajanko, no low balls. I know what I got. Lightly used Vajanko. Not only is it lightly used, but it's also a Vajanko. Why was this ever produced in the first place? Oh dear god. I mean, I, ha I have heard of foot fetishes before, if I'm gonna put it that way. But this is kind of like, I, I, do, do you make love to the actual foot? Is, is, is that the thing? Oh my god, I'm so buttoned down. I'm sorry, this video is very <laughs> suggestive. <laughs> Women seen of, of experience thread. Women can't do the eh, dude. And trust me, I've tried. I did a lot of women and never made a single one do the eh. I legitimately don't think they exist. It's just meme acting in the adult naughties. Oh, forget. <laughs> Why would you out yourself like this? Hey, I have done the naughties with like 10 people and, and nobody enjoyed it. C can, can it be me? No, no, it's the entire gender that's broken. That, yeah, that, that's it. When women do the eh, they pee. When men do the eh, they make life. Which one is more important? What are you even talking about? It's, it's not like a baby just randomly jumps and also... Like, what? Sp <laughs> this gives me such toxic relationship vibes. Oh my god. No, no, I, I won't do anything for your pleasure because that's that's just pee or- What? <laughs> Girl groups rarely last very long. <laughs> Unfortunately, with the females, when you have a group of women hanging around each other for too long, their periods start to sync up and then drama ensues. Boy bands can have their own problems, but this particular issue doesn't happen with them. <laughs> And trust me, I am a biomylologist. Man, this is gold. Oh my god, humanity is beautiful in its own, I don't know, butchered way. Tim, 26, looking for a vessel for our future offspring. A nice woman who is committed to fostering the next generation. Cleverness is heritable from the mother, therefore a smart vessel is a must. <laughs> I wonder how many first messages this dude gets. It's like, oh, like lucky for you, cleverness only comes from the mother. And then and then he completely whooshes it. <laughs> oh no, my mic arm is falling off. Please arm. Oh, this is going so well. Ah, oh, bitches love mic arms. You have the sweetest voice I've ever heard. It sounds like your hymen is still intact. Oh, this is so oh my god, this is really, really gross, isn't it? Wow. Imagine walking up to like a young boy on the street who has not hit puberty yet, and it's like, Hey, you have a really cute voice that sounds like your balls haven't dropped. And they're like, what the frick? Oh. Mm. It's not like the same thing, but it's really weird and really creepy. And why <laughs> would, you, would you do this? I swear to God, internet comments are like the wildest thing. One thing I have found uh, repeatedly in YouTube comments, especially when I go to the spam folder, which is a huge mistake. That's like where the, the bottom scrapings of humanity seems to just accumulate. But it's always people getting way too worked up over like the smallest thing. It's like you joke about something like, Haha, <laughs> imagine if a bucket had a hole in the bottom, then it would just be a hole. And then someone would go off for like two paragraphs like, Don't you realize that per definition a bucket has a bottom, so what you're talking about isn't a bucket? It's like, whoa, what? <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, uh, don't be creepy online. Yeah, it's a whammon. Slimming underwear shaper, waist trainer, body shape, slimming belt, belly reduced, tummy shaper, butt lifter, lady shaper, corset. I always think that when people go all about, like, where are the organs when it's cartoon and stuff? It's a bit silly. Like, it's cartoons. It's supposed to be silly. But, like, this is supposed to be a real-life picture. And there isn't even enough space to, like, what, fit a spine in there. Am I the butthole for laughing hysterically after a date kept insisting to me that women have periods from their butts? Oh, this is gonna be golden. Throw away. There was this guy, 22M, who I, 20F, has gone on a few dates with in the last couple of months. He is nice, and so far we only progressed to going to public dates. But about a week ago, we finally decided to have a nice date at my place. Since he was going to be at my place, I let him know before that I was on the time of the month, because I wasn't sure what expectations he had or where his boundaries were yet. And we agreed to just have a nice takeout dinner and watch a movie. He comes over and eats, then sits down on the couch to pick a movie, when he says that it sucked that I was on my time of the month. And he said how he thought it was so strange that women give birth through the vajuje, but have the time of the month from the butt. <laughs> this was a completely unprompted statement from him. 
<laughs> and I'm still not sure I even got to that topic. <laughs> He's just dropping the facts on you. I asked him what he meant by that, and he said again exactly what he had said before. I kind of smiled, assuming he was very much joking, and said, Oh yeah, so weird, thinking that he was going to start laughing soon to end the joke. He didn't, and instead started talk about his first and only GF he'd had in high school, and how she used to complain about bad period poopy time all the time. <laughs> At this point, I asked him being serious, and he looked like a little confused and says yes. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. Periods are actually just increased pooping. Biological facts with a click in 2022. I had to like do a double take in my brain that is actually 2022. I still say 2020 by mistake quite often. Me, when my father said to keep my legs closed when the time of the month is happening to keep the pressure stream straight. You just squeeze your organs together. It's like, you know when you have a water balloon and you just like slowly like pss that, that's how it works. Uh, biological <laughs> facts 101. How does it feel to time of the month, we asked a man. Stop being a bitch and taking pain meds for your period cramps. Learn to deal with the pain, strengthen your body, and get in touch with your womb. Do womb massages. Meditate with your womb in mind. The cramps will lessen. Use herbal tea if you must. Stop using pharmaceuticals. Yeah, if you must, you can use herbal tea because it's so strong and will destroy your body. But it's natural and you should be in touch with your womb, oh my god. I'm surprised they haven't done like, you know, a womb yoga or some kind of weird stretching that's supposed to like, you know, stretch your womb or just like, I don't know. Do you have collared rocks as well? <laughs> People who don't know how Mo dies in Maori mythology. People who do know. Spoiler alert, he gets eaten by a goddess's private parts. Oh yeah, it has teeth and stuff, doesn't it? Ah, oh, what a beautiful story. Well, this story really has some teeth to it. Oh my god, I'm so proud of that pun. Thank you. You can thank me in the comments. I'm expecting a lot of thank yous in the comments. Look, we've all seen a lot of these men writing women segments, which are just awful. But I'm absolutely losing my shite at this. When she stopped crying, Madeline composed herself before the mirror. Her skin looked blotchy. Her boobas, which were normally proud, had withdrawn into themselves as if depressed. Madeline knew that this self-appreciation may not be accurate. It's like that writing... <laughs> Where the boobas are like dog's tails, like, oh, if you're happy, it's like, vroom. and if you're sad, they just kind of, Pfft. that's how it works. Biological facts 101. How many biological facts can we get in here? Let's say to the end, then we'll find out together. Someone I was dating asked me if I could reschedule my period so it didn't coincide with his birthday. We did not make it to his birthday. Why not? Just change. You have an app for that, right? <laughs> just download the app that lets you change the time of the month. <laughs> Actually, healthy women have little to no body hair, soft and clear skin, and big abahanka dorkers. It is just your stupid man-like behaviors that damage your body and beauty, so you need to shave, use skincare products, and undergo plastic surgery. Be feminine once, and blame yourself for a freaking second. Wait, are you telling me that as a man, if I just started doing feminine stuff, like, I don't know, putting on makeup, doing my nails, uh, gossiping with the girls, I would just stop growing chest hair? Man, that's amazing. I would say so much on, like, shaving equipment. My god. Life hacks 101 from this guy, source. I don't know. <laughs> it is impossible to get prego the first time, lol. Why would it be? What, why, what, what has led you to this conclusion? This one is true, I think. A bunch of teens just lied about being their first time, right? Incorrect. But where do you even get this information? It's not even Facebook mom groups at this point. Are there Facebook dad groups where they just discuss weird stuff about periods? Expert proposed reason why women, supposedly, don't get cold by wearing little clothing on nights out. Uh, might it be like that you're just very drunk? When looking hot means not feeling cold. Evidence that self-objectification inhibits feelings of being cold. I would probably bet on alcohol, but... Can you imagine? You're just like wandering the Arctic and some dude says, Oh god, I think I think I'm freezing. I'm not gonna make it, guys. Like, Steve, you are really hot. Oh, thanks, guys. I am no longer dying of the frostbites. <laughs> Men, before you go on with seduction, observe her legs. Put a keen eye on her ankles and the malleus of her legs. The ankle of her legs will tell you. She has conceived or aborted before. She has bleached her face. She is a sloot. Masculinity said, how, what are you even gonna look for? You just randomly stare at parts of her ankles and be like, mm, yeah, that, that right there, that's just, that's a sloot lump. This kind of BS feels the same thing as like horoscopes, but for like weird men. <laughs> I don't know. It's just 
<laughs> so out there. Honestly, regardless of it not sounding PC, once a woman begins her menses, she is quite literally biologically able to sustain prego and give birth. Should 15-year-olds have naughties? No. Can a 15-year-old survive a healthy prego-ness? Yes. I had my first period at 8. I was not able to have a healthy prego at 8. Why Why are you making- Oh my- Oh, Jesus Christ. What's the purpose of making this point? Oh my god, they're- Oh, oh, oh. Just because your body can, like, physically survive something doesn't mean that your whole being is ready for it, maturity-wise, emotionally-wise, or even the rest of your body. This is a really odd point to make. Just because you can push something through doesn't- uh, doesn't to make it uh, a good. No, I find women with hairy legs are discus tang. <laughs> she doesn't shave her legs means she doesn't care about cleanliness, bad hygiene. Women don't like unclean shaven men's faces, and men don't like women's hair. Unclean? Did you just diss beards and mustaches at the same time? Oh, outrageous! I am offended. I am taking to Twitter. Expect a cancellation. <laughs> Okay, here's my own personal hot take, because it's all about hotness here today. When it comes to grooming, it's it's like a preference you should discuss with your partner. If you prefer someone to be groomed in certain ways, talk to them. And if they prefer you to be groomed in certain ways, talk to them. Some people I know don't care at all. Some people are more sensitive to it. Some people are somewhere in the middle. It, it's between you and your partner. This weird thing of, like, you know, demanding the whole of population to adhere to your standards is... I don't know, really, really strange. But I am the center of the universe. Oh. An old boyfriend once explained that if I was having cramps, I just needed to do what his ex did. There is this one yoga pose that will make the shift in the uterus that usually takes a few days to happen in just a few minutes. It drops, and then your period is done in one day instead of four or five. He couldn't elaborate any further. What shifts? What drops? But he swore he was 100% right. His ex cut her period down due to one day with yoga. Ah, the sacred bleeding goose pose. <laughs> do a little bit of this. It's just... And then you're all done. Source, a, a boy. The cause of secret black women. Don't let them destroy your happiness. Why is there big T in don't? That's really random. Okay. Uh, prego baby milk. Uh, hormonal changes focus in women. Black at the same time, even if returned to normal. Postpartum hormones around your nips. How many may not return to before the prego? What? <laughs> Excessive adult fun time. After adult fun time stimulation, local caterpillar tension and blood oxygen exchange too late to return to the bloody precipitation. A precipitation and melanin gradually aging centripetal lead to privacy. Around is more and more dark color. Is this like a sh really poorly Google translated document about how to not make your boobs turn darker after doing the babies? I'm pretty sure it's for one of those creams that are applied to the genitals to lighten them. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. I think women are stupid because the female sex is clearly the weaker sex, says this incredibly strong man that needs to uh, hate on 50% of the population online. Let's find out together what amazing hot take we have going on here. Women are biologically weaker. They are on average shorter, have less muscle mass, weaker bones, menstruation, prego, etc. Women are adversely socially conditioned, wear makeup, etc, etc. There's nothing wrong with this, but most women deny this, and an attempt to refute this is stupid. What? That they get prego? Who's trying to refute that? What? What are you talking about? It feels like you made up an argument in your head that you, that you decided to hate. <laughs> What a waste of time. Men, aim for abdomen, for it is nude and insufficiently protects it against the elements and injury. Ha <laughs> ha You ignorant fools! You know nothing of secret womenly powers of the uterus. It affects our greatest when exposed. Zing, cling, clomp, ping, ping! Alas, ye gods! We were woefully misinformed of the true powers of a woman's exposed belly. Surely a far more powerful force resides in the cleavage. Wow, those are some... Uh, Damn, eloquent barbarians. Hey honey, this uh, uterus thing sounds right to you? Mm, let me see. Mm, yeah, totally true. <laughs> <laughs> it's just science. Disclaimer, this is in no way a shape or form science. Steven is merely an easily amused dumbass and nobody should take him seriously. In fact, avoid spending time in his vicinity as dumbassery may in fact be contagious. <laughs> This answers so many questions, though, about the bikini armors in fantasy games. It's gorgeous. It just unleashes the power from within. Haha! -ha! Man rule number 93. If she has an apple, she also has a banana. 
Me explained to the men on r slash muscle girls that bodybuilding doesn't enhance a woman's booba size. Sounds like someone is skipping out on the boob ship curls. Just download my app today. We do boob curls together. We'll just make a the hunk of badorker swell like bahusa bagoosers. I can just see in front of me someone coming home having heard of this and be like, Hey babe, uh, do you think you can work a bit more on your, I don't know, your, your boob curls? My what? <laughs> Trans women on hormones do not have an advantage. It's just obvious dishonest of you. Yes, they do. Science prove it. Read the link. Also, their exoskeleton is different. Heart rate and blood pressure. Dishonesty is pretending that male biology is the same as women. I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there, fam. If, if your hormone pills are giving you an exoskeleton, you should probably talk to your doctor. For every new PP that enters her, she ages six months more. Meaning the more PP that enters her, the more older she gets. The more older, the older. You don't have to add a more to some- Okay, what- <sighs> This explains why some females in the early 20s don't even look their age. They look like they're in their late 20s to early 30s. So you mean that if women just stop doing the pee-pee, they are basically immortal beings. Ah, choose between the adult naughty fun time or live forever. Grace Anatomy. If you want to sneak a gun into an airport, just putting in a verjuje. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> I imagine in the storyline as well, they're able to like shoot it when it's still in place in the private regions. Pew pew! Oh, look out! The crotch is shooting! Oh, oh, the humanity! Men don't become infertile in their 30s like the majority of women. And even if you're able to have a child after 40, high chances are that it will be R word. What do you mean infertile in their 30s? That's not, no, that's not when. No? This is still. You, I think you have your little numbers mixed up, good sir. Do doing women's yoga shorts, high waist, ratchet butt lifter, gym running shorts, sport athletic shorts. Look at them shorts. Not photoshopped at all. This will just take your entire body mass and just like, push it up into all the right places. So your buttock sticks out like, I don't know, four decimeters. You're not going to be able to walk through doors. When you turn around, you're going to like knock children over. <laughs> If you are having these holes, it's called venous holes on your lower back. That means you are not overweight and probably lead a healthy life. The German Association of Psychopathy says that the lumbar dimples are an anatomically predetermined. So whether you have them or not depends solely on your genes. Doctor call them dimples fossa lumbalis laterales. I nailed that pronunciation. Anyone telling me otherwise is wrong. My point exactly. <laughs> Fighters aren't hard and men, they are younger men who have quick learning curve and faster reflexes, along with a naive bravery and, like you said, determination. Some can go for girls in the right circumstances. Only difference is testosterone will make a boy more aggressive, but estrogen could be more agile. I see. So like hormones are basically D&D &D stats. So if you want like more dex, you just, just pop a bit of estrogen. You want more strength and like melee? <laughs> you pop a bit of pop a bit of us. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Slutty horse, hundred dollars used to be two hundred. Listed over a week ago. It's a horse with boobas, hand sculpted with hot glue and Barbie parts. <laughs> she is a Scorpio. <laughs> she has had a lot of work done. <laughs> Took me two days to create. She is dressed in a vintage Barbie clothes, hand painted, free shipping. Man, that's <clears throat> that's. <clears throat> That's <clears throat> beautiful. If you press the cl and the G spot at the same time, the video day takes a screenshot. Then leads to question, what exactly does it take a screenshot of? Leave it down in the comments what you think. I want to see some creativity. Man, I'm lazy. Transphobic people never cease to amaze me. So you were born with tatas? <laughs> Something's not adding up. Nobody's born with tatas. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Are you dense? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you tried so hard. <laughs> Can you explain to me why the heck Aloy has a beard? What you mean, like the small, regular, like white hairs that you have pretty much everywhere on your body? What? So some ladies deliberately to get prego up to four months for their birthday for the boobas to become big. Terminate the baby weeks to the birthday just to look good in the photo shoots. Yup. Where did you... <laughs> Where did you find this information? Like, yeah, they're totally doing this. This is like conspiracy, but for... <laughs> oh my god. I am glad my PP is small because all the STDs are in the backside of the female private parts. This story has been deleted. <laughs> We've come a long way from this to this. Man, I do miss my... Uh, triangle boobas, though. From a cosmopolitan list titled 20 cute and romantic things to say to your GF. Two, I want to take off your boobas and eat them like little ice cream scoops. Help your girlfriend visualize how excited you'll get her to experience the zenith of experience. 
in the evening time by eating ice cream shaped like a dabu bus. Since the majority of women don't get miscarriages, it would indicate that it's a result of a personal error that simply hasn't been discovered yet. How is this a shower thought? This is just like random stupid idea based on nothing but my own, I don't know, very eager ability to tell others they have done something wrong about something I clearly know very little about. Oh, the internet. My uncle is explaining to me, final year genetic engineering student, that preferring a boy child is not sexist because boys carry the most important genetic components for the family line. And a girl's genetic code changes when she is married off to it. I am in awe! Oh my god, we have cracked the code for all, like, genetic disease in the world. Oh my god, you have, like, an inherent gene in your family for some kind of disease or heart issues? Just pick another last name, and boom, it's gone! Wow, Tasmania looks like an actual Vajuje. What? When he says I can just squeeze my stomach and my time of the month will come out and it will be over. Yeah, it's like, you know, you just, you just push right here, and we just say... And it's gone. <laughs> ah, the human anatomy is a wonderful thing. The other fact which won't be popular, but the male splooches act like an antidepressant when put into the female. So basically women are chemically dependent upon men, but men are not chemically dependent upon women. Ah, uh, well, um, I mean, the naughties do release happy chemicals in your body. And it's good for your health, it's good for your intimate life, it's good for a lot of different things. Not for the reason you think it is, and it's not because of the twist you think it has. Um, it's a really weird conclusion, but yeah, naughties is good for you. There you go, that's a good conclusion. She uh, started her time of the month and I didn't know what to say. I know a girl starting the time of the month means they have begun naughties or self-naughties. Uh-huh. I took her to her church doctor and he confirmed she was a virgin and therefore must be masturbating. I decided to tell her that she must have been impregnated by Joseph Smith's spirit and she has been given the destiny to birth a great prophet. I told her that masturbating smothers babies inside the vajuji and she killed it. Wow, what a healthy thing to tell your child. Please go on. At first she denied it, but I told her that the only other way the baby could have died and caused all the baby blue to leak out is if she did the drugs. How many like biological fallacies can you squeeze into this one thing? You're up to like, what, four or five now? She then admitted to touching herself while putting on rosemary salve on her church mother gave her to keep away vapors. Am I the a-hole? Yes. My daughter hasn't spoken to me since I sent her away over this, and I fear that even if I could reach out via phone or letter, she wouldn't. At least not to be. Am I the butt? You are the bot. You're a very big bot. You're, you're weird. Maybe you should be the one talking to your local, well, not a church doctor, but talk to your local doctor. Did you just skip the entire sex ed class in school? Maybe they didn't have it. Maybe they're like older generation or something. I don't know. While watching Moana, we decided to research a little more about Moai, folklore, and I, the death of Maui. I have no clue to pronounce this. I'm so sorry. His last trick, which led to his death, involved the goddess, this thing that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, in an attempt to make mankind immortal. He changed into a worm and entered her private regions, intending to leave through her mouth while she slept, but she was crushed by the obsidian teeth in her private parts. The history is wild. I mean, <laughs> mythology, perhaps. <laughs> That's your job, good. Well, we know for sure that I drink milk. Well, no, thank you. I can't make milk. Huh? Please, we have no other option. You've got teeth. Yes, I do. But wow, you really don't get it, do you? If I don't have a baby, you don't make it the milk. And I've never given birth. Huh? Poof. I mean, it, evolutionary makes sense. Doing something like that requires a lot of energy from your body. So constantly, like, just splurging something that would take your body immense resources to produce constantly would just lead to, I don't know, the death of an entire species pretty easily. Uh, it's, uh, it makes a lot of sense, but I, I suppose it's easy to... to miss. Man, the time thing to discuss biology. Probably some 40-year-old roasty with 10 cats and hashtag no eggs, hashtag empty egg carton. You see, each ovary actually contains 20 eggs. So when she's 40, obviously she is infertile. It's a biological fact. <gasps> is it actual eggs? Um, do ducks come out of those eggs? I want, I want a pet duck, man. If I were a woman, I would be a shameless, naughty person for everything. I want something free from the store, I show my boobas and that's it. I want to go on a trip to Europe for free, I uh, do the naughties to the travel agent's private parts and that's it. I want a free car, show my private parts and that's it. 
yeah, I don't think I don't think that works. I mean, if you want to have higher odds at I don't know getting a free drink at the bar, sure, I think your odds would increase. But just getting random plane tickets for free, not to mention, I'm not sure you would be so thrilled once you're there. Some random sleazy person is like, yeah, just do this favor to me, baby, and I'll give. You some. Hmm. Nah. Don't think so. You do understand that the female anatomy is based off of an inverted version of the male anatomy. So really, you have a peepee? -pee? It's just constantly inside you. Yeah, because the women literally and genetically stem from men. What does that even mean? Sorry, you only have one brain cell to understand this stuff. Haha, <laughs> I am smart. You do realize that if females are, you know, inverted men, men are also inverted women. That's, you know, it goes... It goes both ways, if if you want to make that argument. It's weird. Stop! All women don't go through the same thing when given the bath. Stop it! I have plenty of said it was a breeze and easy and pushed onto a baby in three to four pushes. In fact, my wife's birth was easy. And it's been scientifically proven getting kicked in the balls is like giving birth a hundred times at once. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to have those hun duplings. Oh. Once, when my mom was breastfeeding my little bro, she drank like four cups of strong coffee one particular day, and when she went to feed him, her breast milk came out pure coffee, almost like latte. Not even joking. Did you have a milk foamer as well? You know, a little built-in like an espresso machine. Man, that's that's beautiful. I mean, I imagine this must be a scene in some weird anime somewhere, right? This, this has to be it. Get this in writing. I asked for a small CB, and I woke up with DD because my surgeon didn't want me to be unproportional. You literally don't have DD. What the frick? Lemao, and you know this because you don't have my measurements. It's because I have layeth with many a woman and can readily identify proportions from several dozen meters in distance. Mm. My anime superpower is measuring babubas accurately from under fabric and through videos and alternative angles very accurately. <laughs> And I use this power to annoy people in TikTok comments. Headache. Lena did not have patience for her games. But what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that your sister's hymen was intact upon the uh, R word. Lena felt her stomach drop. She shouldn't have thought of this. But too much has happened in the last 24 hours for Lena to come to logical conclusions. Now the whole world will know her sister was gay. Oh, the horror. You know, your sister was just, you know, a victim of a horrible traumatizing crime. But no. Oh, she is also the gay. Prego women can't ride bikes? What? It would rip the hymen which holds the baby in. <laughs> if this was... Ch then childbirth would be super easy. Pop, bloop, done. So, okay, okay, anyway, anyway. Hmm, back to anatomy classes for you. No, uh, the hymen regrows and keeps the baby in, as well as the hands inside the womb that put the baby together. What did... put... what did... Oh my god, that gives me such a weird, creepy horror movie-like scene. Another thing I will say is that virgin women are and always will be more moldable. Does it matter if they're 15 or 50? Once they tasted the pipe for the first time, they will take on some of your personality and ideology because you were their first. It's an oxytocin thing. They can't help it. Yeah, just name drop something random and just... <laughs> cool. <laughs> this is the reason there's a lot of women out there who are more masculine and aggressive than most men. It's because they've already had most men do the naughties, so they took on all those personalities. What it is? Okay, so you're telling me, if if a woman uh, does the naughties and is intimate with like I don't know a dozen men, she she becomes like a superman. She she is more manly than all the men combined. This <laughs> this is a mind blowing biological fact. <laughs> Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoy this video and this journey with me, and I hope that you learn something, I guess. I, guess. <laughs> I will see you again in the very near future. Take care, you beautiful bean.